Hi, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Oracle of Ages. When we last left off, we rescued the Maku Tree in the past, got a shovel, found out the Impa was possessed by some evil spirit, even though she looked funny, Link didn't catch on at all. Um, got her rings from Holodrum, and so on and so forth. We did a lot in the last episode. So now we are looking for Yol Graveyard's episode. Um, this one's really easy. I'll probably end up putting the whole thing into one episode here. Yol Graveyard, burn the tree. Burn this one too. Only you can prevent forest fires, unless it's a bush. Unless it's a bush in your way in Zelda. Then you want to burn it. Hmm. Huh, this has a keyhole. Well, I guess we're going this way. No way, it's too scary. It's pitch black inside that grave beneath the tree. Shut up, it's no good if you get scared. Besides, it might come out. The ghost. Uh, they all run away. Bunch of sissies. Bunch of little sissies. This is Zelda. Ghosts are everywhere. Burn the tree. Burn the tree. No, nothing under the other tree. Hmm. Okay. Light this torch. Light this torch. And we get a key! Who got the graveyard key? And away we go. Not even two min barely two minutes in, and we've already uh, got the key for the first dungeon. Interesting key makes the gate disappear, not open. You know, when, why is Maple's shop here? Wouldn't that be kind of pointless behind behind a locked gate? Whatever. Try not to ask questions that I can't answer. Here we are, first dungeon, Spirit's Grave. But yeah, we've only been in this for two minutes, so we're gonna keep going. Judging from all these pots here, I'd say our first item here is gonna be the power bracelet. That's right, no splitting for you guys. <laughs> I am Red Rain. It's a map. We got a map. We always like maps. Okay, you gotta push the block in this side. Believe me, we'll be seeing that block a lot through this playthrough. Hmm. I could have sworn there was a crumbling wall in this room somewhere. Uh, I guess I was wrong. See what's in that other door up here. Push, push, click. We're gonna compass. Oh, I have to remember to come back and blast that hole open once I've got a key. Or I mean, bombs, bombs. Sorry. It looks like we gotta play with the puzzle box again. Hmm. 
For some reason, that hole in that other room there reminds me of a chocobo. Don't ask me why, but it does. Click! There'll be keys here. That was an easy key. Yet, which is always good. Click. Okay. Double puzzle room. Not a very hard puzzle, but it is two puzzles in one room. Masters. Let's see what's in here. I guess when he tags you with his little ghosts, he attacks. at me. Moblin. very good to hear this stuff. You got the power bracelet! Hold the button, press any direction to lift heavy objects. Of course, now you can also push certain heavy objects. These are huge pots. We got a ring! Get it appraised later. And stabby stab stab. We got the boss key. Seed. I really don't care too much about the gosh seeds. I know I can get a heart container out of it. I know I can get a ring out of it, and I completely missed that jump. But the odds of it happening are so low. And to get the really good stuff, you have to plant it in the harder to reach areas. Hello, first boss. Wow, you were easily weak. I know we have red ring on, but it doesn't really give us that much more attack power. 
You got the eternal spirit and essence of time. Even after life ends, it speaks across time to the heart. Yeah, I know, I know. Shut up, Tony. It's me, the Maku Tree. I hear an essence echoing in the western woods. Can you go over there? Sure can. And we will do that when we come back next time. We're our trip to the western woods in Dungeon 2. See you then. <laughs>